Hi, I'm Warren Buckleitner, and today I'm looking at Curious About Shapes and Colors. Well, hello there. Press in the box to help George put his toys back together. Now, because this app earned 4.9 out of 5 stars on our instrument, I want to spend a little bit of time looking at its design specifics to help illustrate why an app earns a high rating. Now, the first thing you notice is that this app, like many millions of others, deals with colors, shapes, and um, matching. Uh, there's no shortage of that, but what makes this one stand out is the way that the uh, task is embedded in a meaningful context. So you see, as I'm putting these shapes in, in, uh, into place, I'm building something. And they all work together to turn into one of Curious George's toys. Now, on its own, that's pretty cool. But now, I can take that toy and play a game with it. Do you want to help George collect the bananas? Now, what was surprising is how fun these games are. Also, the scoring mechanism is something that's developmentally appropriate. Here's the next collection of slightly harder puzzles. In this case, I don't drag and drop anymore. My finger turns into a cutting torch. Now, what could be more fun than that? And so I, I decided to try the limits here and, to, of course, make some wrong answers, which you should always do when testing an app. And in this case, it just gently cracks me and uh, lets me move, move along. So I'm putting the boat together. I should also point out, out that this is a, a good language experience because every shape and color is labeled by the man in the yellow hat. Now I can play with the boat. I can either freely explore different parts of the boat or I can play the game, in this case, sorting the fish by uh, the attribute of color. Again, there are instructions, but they're over the shoulder and they don't get in the way of my play. Here's another nice touch. Everything that's interesting on the ship, like the anchor or the wheels or the horns, does actually does something rewarding your explorations. Now there are five sets of puzzles in total and each gradually gets harder. This is the uh, getting a little bit harder. This is putting the train together and another excellent design attribute. Uh, when you put the train together, you can play with it. And notice how I can just roll it around either frontwards or backwards. There's no direct way to do anything in this app and, uh, and play with it. One thing I don't care for is all of the sugary um, reinforcements, but this is done after the fact and uh, the man in the yellow hat is always there just sort of blabbering away while I do my work and you know he's a nice guy but he doesn't interrupt my the flow of play here and you can see how quickly I can move through here. This particular puzzle reminds me of Gertrude's Secrets uh, which one of the first sorting games um, that, that really sort of dates uh, <laughs> dates anyone who recognizes that. But look at how they they ask you to now start uh, attending to the, the shade um, and finer attributes. The other thing that you notice is that if you make a mistake the piece just uh, drops down again and lets you try try again. So it's an instant real feedback. A kite is a diamond shape. So I hope you're seeing um, why this app got such a high score on our instrument and that you'll, as you start reviewing more apps on your own you can you can start looking for these features. Um, look at the craftsmanship here, uh, the way I can rotate the castle, the corrugated cardboard, um, a lot of just free exploration and then this is a uh, and um, if this doesn't remind you of Angry Birds nothing will but this game mechanic is really exceptionally executed very responsive and I can experiment with different uh, angles and so on and if I do well as as I ended up playing way this game way too long I can earn more arrows and, and uh, again all developmentally appropriate number activities the app also embeds a little special video treat that frames the entire task of Curious George taking his toys apart. There are hundreds of puzzle apps out there that deal with shapes and colors, but very few go to this extent to frame the task in, in a meaningful way for children. And that's why we put it on our cover for the July issue. I'm Warren Buckleitner. We'll see you next time.